You are listening to the Brody Jenner Podcast with Dr. Mike Dow. E-neck work has just thrown up in here because it's not only Brody Jenner in the house, but also Roxy and Johnny from the Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. Yes. I love that show. Thank you. Such a great show. It's fun, right? How much fun was your trip to uh, China? Oh, God. (laughs) That sounded like it was really fun. (laughs) Was it fun in real life? Are we starting there right now? Yes. It was a really rough trip. It was an eclipse season. We had a lot of weird drama. It was fun, but it was was interesting. It was China. It was China. It was China. It's not like Have you been to China? I have not. Go to China and let me know how fun it is. (laughs) (laughs) It's not relaxing. It's more of like a... Adventure? Yeah, it was an adventure. Mm. Sounds like Russia. I've been there. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. Sounds like Russia. A lot, a lot of pollution. A lot of pollution. Yeah, my skin was that. bad for two months after. <laughs> and, and you had jet <laughs> no. lag. And the and one of my favorite lines was uh, somebody telling you that the they didn't. That jet lag they is didn't, tacky. <laughs> that jet lag is tacky. That was the line. Roxy, how do you feel lag. about that? I've never been jet lagging my entire life. <laughs> I'm sorry that I couldn't sleep for four days. Oh man. Was the pollution so bad that it gave you headaches? You were throwing up. It was disgusting. Sick. You couldn't breathe. Was that it's like of, Mexico it City pollution. It was so, bad. There's so, pussy willows in the air, remember? Yeah, in, in Beijing. There are a lot oh. of there's a lot of relationship drama this season on Rich yes. Kids. Mm-hmm. Dorothy's broken heart. Poor thing. Yeah, poor girl. And that was real. Oh, was I love that delivery, Roxy. Oh, my God. Roxy. Read between the lines. That, it's hot in here already. That Damn. was the equivalent of a Southern Belle saying, bless her heart. Yeah, that was. That was, that was. <laughs> so, so right before we started, uh, I, we, we got informed uh, by Adrienne that Roxy meets the criteria for a spinner. Spinner. I've been told it, that yes. before, yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, mm-hmm. Not yeah. new information? Not new, but... <laughs> oh, but you that. asked her. You said, oh, you said, what's a spinner? No, he said, oh, what's a spinner? I said, what's a spinner? Oh, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Everything every guy wants is a spinner. That is what it is. <laughs> so define, so what is it? A, a spinner is a incredibly beautiful, very petite woman who... Is everything's proportionate, but she's just very tiny, very slight, and it makes men feel masculine and like the dude when they can like lift her up. Like the he doesn't even have, just yeah. fucking he doesn't even have to be a strong guy. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah, he I doesn't even that. have to be strong yeah. because like, like literally, I could lift her up with a finger. I right could lift her up. Yeah, and I'm not strong than me. And Adrian said, "I'm not a spinner." And Johnny, you said, "I'm what? What? Did, I'm, you not said, I'm not either." No. What would a gay spinner be? Well, um, a twink? Six pack, a big dick. Would it be a twink? I know, you, you, know, you can have a little gay spinner. You can have a gay spinner, like a six yeah. pack, big a dick, broad shoulder. Well, no, the spinner you. should just be the, the, the one uh, on who's, 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 a, who's the bottom, but on top yeah. just... Oh, I'll right? take that. Okay. Huh? What? Okay. Okay. Johnny's like, okay. All right. I'll go with that. Like, like, I'll go with that. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that sounds man. good. That sounds good. Too much fun today.